Hi, my name is Dylan Masterson. Today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to make a sorghum and spice latte. First step is to get the coffee beans. We do this by removing the porta filter and cleaning it off. We need to make sure everything is clean so that each cup of coffee tastes the best that it possibly can. You'll see me using hot water to clean it out and then a rag to dry out the inside. Next I place the porta filter into this machine which gives me the grinded coffee beans. Now my machine measures it out for me but if you're doing this at home you should have 18 grams of coffee beans. Next, I'm tamping the beans down, putting equal pressure to get them level all on top so that when we pour the shot, it's equal and smooth. Next, we clean out the shot glass. And pull the shot. The only home I've ever known Step three is to steam the milk. I'm using whole milk here, but you can use any of your preference. I'm going to turn on the steam wand and you'll see some water shoot out of it. This is to ensure that there's no old milk left over in the steam wand. When I place the steam wand into the pitcher, I'm going to pull the pitcher down so that the bottom of the steam wand is just barely submerged into the top of the milk. This is called aerating and it gets that nice level of foam that you want when it comes to a latte. Then I'm going to submerge the wand fully into the pitcher to get the rest of the milk hot. You'll know that your milk is steamed and ready to go when the outside of the pitcher is too hot to hold. Step four is to pour the sorghum into the latte. How much you do is really up to your sweetness preference. Step five is to combine the espresso and the milk into the latte. First, I'm adding the espresso and taking a wooden stir stick to mix the two together. This will ensure that when you drink your latte, there's no syrup stuck to the bottom of the cup. Next, I'm going to pour my milk in. Since we've steamed the top to have foam, this bottom level when you pour in should be all milk, and then when you get to the top, you'll have that nice level of foam. I like my lattes to be extra foamy, but if you don't, you can just skip the aerating step from before. I'm using my wooden stir stick again just to smooth out the top. This is more for appearances and less for taste. I'll never forget you in that dress. Our final step is to top our latte with cinnamon. This is the spice component of our sorghum and spice latte. Here's the final product. Thank you so much for watching my video on how to make a sorghum and spice latte. My name is Dylan Masterson.